I'm pretty much going to go ahead and just get started straight away today. Um, this is my lye water, of course, with my silk in it. And today I am trying a slightly different formula. It is my three butter formula, but I actually um, took the avocado oil out and put palm oil in. I do have half a bucket of palm to get through, and I would like to use it up and be done with it. And it seems like my soap is kind of at the sweet temperature spot, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. goat milk and cream which I normally put these in well, I put cream in usually after the lye and then goat milk before but oh well it just happens that way sometimes but I haven't even took the stick one to this and it's already thickening and this is one of the reasons that I don't really like palm um, besides the moral and social issues I just have so much problems with palm thickening up right away and I did use full water on this to hopefully keep it fluid a little bit longer. And probably unwisely, I'm using a fragrance that's known to be a little bit of a mover, so we'll have to just see how it comes out. On the bright side, my counter is pretty clean so far. Okay, let's put a little of this in here. A little more. And then we do a little in here. So in there, and of course I am short one container. I'm always short one container, it seems like. Okay, okay one more container, I'll be right back. Okay, more or less, doesn't have to be perfect. At least not today. Okay, so, um, just get these out of my way because I have a lot of them. The first one is uncolored. It just has oatmeal in it. And a little bit more oatmeal. And this one is going to be called Tortuga Shores. It goes with my Black Sails Pirate Soap. I want this to be a little bit on the thicker side. So we just add a little more. And it is done with a beachy scent. The last time I did this, I used one from, um, ooh, I think it was Beach Daisies. No, it was Beach by Bobby Brown. I had meant to order Beach Daisies, and I pushed the wrong button, and I got Beach by Bobby Brown. But, you know, I didn't care for that one. It was really just more floral. And I don't want more floral. I want... I want more beach. And this one's definitely more of a saltier sea air. I use vanilla extract just for the color doesn't actually impart a smell or anything. 
<laughs> so that's that one. And I'm adding the fragrance last because this is, like I said, this is a known mover, so. Okay. So next one, here's the exciting part. Look what I got. I got bottles with my color. Woo. Okay. Probably help if you guys can see what I was doing, huh? I'm do a little blue. And just blue in that one. And then off camera. I'm gonna do a little green in here. And a little green in there. Okay. Let's mix these up and see what we got. Ooh, pretty. Oh, so nice. Now, this is my first time mixing the, um, these are the Nurture Micas. It's the first time that I've mixed them, um, pre-mixed them. Normally, I use my soaping oils, and I decided to use some olive oil. And, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to shoot. Okay. Panic time! This out. I'll be right back. I'm going to get this out of here. You know what? We'll just do that in the pot swirl style, okay? Oh, well, stuff happens, right? Okay. That's why you don't normally see me doing a lot of different color swirls. And yes, I just took my goggles off, but I don't need them right this second. I'll put them back on when I blend. Okay, here's layer one, and I ended up getting that mixed in and it all turned green, which is not what I wanted, but oh well, stuff happens sometimes. And it's actually okay because it's kind of dirty green, which goes with like the sea floor, and dirty is kind of piratey, and this has a really fresh fragrance, so it'd be nice to kind of mix it up with like the dirty sea floor, I think, to make it more, more piratey like. And yes, I did blend that in. I gave it one good, one good steer with the stick blend. Okay. Okay. So the next layer is going to be the blue layer. So a little of our fragrance in there. A little more. I'm gonna have to add a little more fragrance to this because the um, like the cup ate some of it. What do you call that? Um, what do you call that when like the cup absorbed it? The cup absorbed it. Okay, so this one is going to be there. That's our seabed. Okay, so now, this is the fun part. There's that, and then I need, so let's see if we can start getting that. Yep, starting to set up. So, we'll just spoon swirl it. That's almost the same thing that I wanted to do. It's funny how it can look so loose and then it's not fun. Okay, 
So I'm just adding a little titanium dioxide to this one right at the bottom here. Stay liquid enough. I want this one on the top. Okay. Sorry, I've had the noise if you can hear it. The roommates are in the other room watching television, and I was like, I'm gonna record, so you have to be quiet. Come on, a little more, you can do it, thank you. Okay, so now for the white. Of course now I forgot to clean off my blender. Okay, so it has to be done by hand. Okay. Well, nothing to it but to do it. Never mind my wiping this on the paper towel. It is a paper towel. Okay. Can't believe all the things to forget today. I forgot the water so I could clean off my stick blender in between uses. I'm useless. So there's the white. Let's shake this down for air bubbles. Okay. Now let's pour this from up high. Someday we'll get this design right too. <laughs> okay. well, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter, so we'll just splatter it on. Okay, so there's no blue left. I forgot to save some of that for the top. Let's see if we can shake just a little bit on there. No, not really. My bad. I'm still excited to see what it's going to look like though because this is actually one of my favorite designs that I've ever made with the oatmeal layer. And no, I did not put oatmeal into the rest of the soap. And uh, I made this one a year ago and I haven't been able to really get back to this design, so I can't wait to get a tall skinny mold. This would have been perfect design for a tall skinny mold. So. Okay. And can we get any more of the way up? So the last thing, I'm just going to put a little bit of iridescent white glitter. I need to get a poofer bottle for this one. I can really go overboard with this one if I'm not careful. I need a poofer so I can see what I'm doing better. Okay, that's enough. There you go, and that is Tortuga Shores. It will be a beach soap, and the description of this one is Fresh ocean flowers blooming in the spring rain and salty sea air. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you for the cutting video. Have a great night. Bye!